Hello. Today I've been having a nice day painting. I've done a couple of little swipey paintings which have come out very successfully. So today I'm going to have another go at this blooming technique. Um, I've already put my base down which is my Dulux satin wood with flow trial and water so this is runnier than I did before um, which we'll see whether that makes it better or worse <laughs> who knows um, so I'll put that little bit down so I think it will move a lot more perhaps than when I've done this before I think that'll be fine my paints are already mixed up and they are just paint with some flow troll some bubbles. Um, so I'm going to try something a bit different than I did last time. I'm going to try and think about how, if it blooms, how it will bloom. <laughs> so we shall see. So that is that down. Um, I do like this dark one. I also thought I might just do like a big puddle rather than before I did lots of individual bits, little puddles. I think I might just do one really big puddle. I'm definitely having some of this 24 karat gold because it's my favourite colour. Uh, the first one was deep sapphire mixed with paint grey. This one is garnet in the deco art. I might put a bit of pearl in I know that I've got a white base and I might not need the pearl, but I think I will put that in. This is Liquitex Copper. Uh, what else should we put? Um, just a bit of gold there. And a little bit of turquoise. Well, I always call it turquoise. It's called aquamarine on the bottle. And then, shall we have a bit more gold? I don't think you can have too much gold. Uh, and I do like this blue topaz. So you can see, I'm putting quite a lot of paint down. <laughs> uh, this, I'm going to finish off with which is the uh, deep sapphire and paint grey so that is that now this I have already mixed up which is flow troll and um, and down white I might not have quite enough flow troll in there that's all right then. Well, just put a little bit more flow troll in it, I think. Just mix up a tiny little bit. Yeah, today we have Storm Helena. <laughs> so it is 50 mile an hour winds and it is definitely very windy. Right, so that is the Amsterdam White and the Float Troll. So what I'm going to try to do is blow it so that it is a little bit more of a shape before I start, rather than just randomly blowing it, which is what I was doing before. So let's see how this goes. I was hoping because I did just one round puddle that the colours will be kind of equal. <laughs> so 
So that was my thoughts. Um, I also thought that before I started stretching it out, I might just, with a stick, just pull out a few bits to try and make it interesting. Now I'm going to take my torch, see what happens. nice interesting bits on there yeah so I'm just gonna just try to stretch it and we'll see what happens um, I need to try not to lose the bits that I like I don't really want to lose <laughs> the bits I like I guess this is looking really nice this doesn't have too much to it at the moment so I might tip it this way and uh, we'll see what happens. I should really tip it that way so you can see it, shouldn't I? <laughs> It's the tipping that I find probably the most difficult. Tipping it so that the pattern still looks really nice. Tipping it so that you don't just lose all the paint that you like over the edge. and getting the weight in the right place so it stretches where you want it to. I'm going to try and bring this side down a bit. bring this corner over a bit that edge doesn't want to move so much so I will put a little bit of paint there because that will help it to move a little bit These colours are looking really nice. So I'm going to bring that down to that corner. 
not right to the corner, but perhaps about there. And then bring it back. Maybe I need to bring it a little bit more. <laughs> Do it so that you can see. But yeah, it's looking nice. Just trying to get that center back to the center a little bit. I find it really difficult not to distort it in places that you don't want it distorted. So that is okay there. So I'm going to try, where is the weight, the weight is all over there, that's fine, try and bring it a little bit back to the centre. find that my idea of where the centre is going to be changes as it all moves around. See I like these edges so maybe I just need to bring that over and down a bit. Maybe I just need to bring it over that way. I think what I'm going to end up with is this down that way a little bit. And it does tip off the side as it dries anyway. <laughs> Might look a bit more like a butterfly than a flower by the time I've finished. I'm going to call that finished now because I like all those bits and I don't want to lose any more and I know it will tip off the edge a little bit anyway. So there it is. It's funny because I always think I'm going to do a flower or a butterfly and I always end up thinking mm, I've got a river and a waterfall <laughs> but there you are. So I will turn this camera off and bring you down and you can have a good look at that. Just uh, dry my hands because I'm full of paint. Well here is this little 20 centimeter square canvas. And the colours are just really lovely together. The garnet and the 24 karat gold 
and the Payne's grey with the deep sapphire and blue topaz and the little turquoise cells there. Some really nice edges and I like those little kind of spiky tendrils. So I'm really happy with that. I do think it looks really nice. Uh, I will show you the quite that colourful edge, which is this one. So that will look really nice when it's hanging up. And then just that nice white negative space in there. So yeah, I'm pleased with that. It's, it's, it's really odd. It's kind of butterfly, kind of waterfall, kind of rock pool, <laughs> kind of flowery. So there, I'll let you see that when that is dry and then you can see how the colours change and how much comes off of the canvas because the paint is quite wet so it might pull it off that little bit that pattern so we shall see okay bye for now well here we are it's been about two days since i did this little painting and it is drying very nicely lots of lovely shimmer from those deco art paints that i used there i'm very happy with the way that the colors have all mixed together and I really like the uh, composition of it. It definitely isn't a flower <laughs> and it's not really a butterfly. It looks kind of watery to me, like a rock pool or a waterfall. But I'm very happy with it. I think it's very pretty. I like all these lovely combinations of colours. I like the way they've all mixed together. I like the really lovely delicate edges and those little cells in there. Um, just really nice. So I'm happy with that. I think that looked nice up on the wall. And as always, I love my edges. And not much actually came off of the canvas when it was drying in the end. So I have managed to keep all the bits that I wanted to keep. Yeah, so I hope you enjoyed watching. And I'll see you again next time. Bye bye.